I still do not understand how this lady managed to get promoted and she even got a car with the promotion. How come? How did she manage to get that? With all the monitoring I've been doing on her life and destiny? I have too many powers for all these. I need to go and verify and see things for myself. Not in my existence will I allow her prosperous or become successful. If I verify and it is true, I'll make sure I destroy her totally. Enough of Elizabeth making it in my eyes. I hate to see her successful. She irritates me so much. How can she be that successful when my own siblings and I are miserable? I'll make use of my evil powers to end her existence. Rubbish. The car is even good. Very nice car. This car might be the end of her. I have been knocking since. Where is this lady? Hello Agnes. I'm sorry for the late response, I was in the bathroom. How may I help you? It's fine. I heard you got promoted at work and you were given a brand new red car. How did you know? You even know the car color. My brother works as a cleaner in a company opposite yours. He said he saw when you were presented the car yesterday and he had to ask what happened and he was told you were promoted. I was so excited and I feel I should come and congratulate you on your new achievement. Oh, thank you. By the way, how did you do it? Do what? How did you get promoted? I got promoted because I am a staff. I didn't mean it that way. I am just happy for you. Thank you Agnes, for being happy for me. I'll celebrate with you too soon in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you. The main reason why I am here is that I need money. Can you borrow me please? Agnes, I gave you some money to start a business last month. What happened to that money? The business wasn't successful. I don't even know where the money went. Elizabeth, my siblings and I need to feed. We've not been eating. But how long do you want to keep doing this? You need to start something for yourself so that you can become independent. Anyways, I'll send you some money. Please manage it. You will start sending double of what you usually send to us since you've been promoted now. Because I got promoted, I should double the money I sent to you. Anyways, that's discussion for another day. I'll send you what I can afford now. I need to leave. I am running late. Alright. You know, our mothers will be very happy in heaven that their children are this close. Just that we aren't as close as our mothers. Your mom who was my mom's younger sister would literally worship the ground my own mom walked on. Your mother gave my mom everything she worked for in life and they lived happily till they both died. I don't know why you aren't doing that yet. You are supposed to entrust me with your properties trust me with your secrets as your elder sister, but you won't do that. Agnes, so, because my mom worshipped the ground your mother stepped on. I should also do the same? I should entrust you with my properties? You know what, I am late already, we will talk later. Have a great day. Alright. Such an arrogant fool. You keep making it in life while my siblings and I suffer. I'll be the end of you. So, the news about her getting promoted is true? This lady has become the first person in the family to own a car. Ah! I won't take this. I need to put an end to this. This lady has disturbed me this morning again. I won't be able to have my morning devotion again. Let me just hurry and go to work. The money. Let me send it to her before she blow my phone up with calls. Wait, does this lady wants to enslave me just like they did to my mom? It can't happen. My mom would literally give her sister all the money she made at the end of each month. If not for, 
My father that was taking care of me, where would I have been now? No, it can't happen again. I need to go now. This lady sent the exact amount she usually send. Is she all right? Is it because I am too soft on her? I'll just kill her just like my mother did to her mother. She hasn't even done quarter of what her mom would do for my mother. What rubbish is this? She's giving me more reason to end her. I will destroy her in just seven days. I'll commence tonight. I can't stand her success again. I'll show her that I'm my mother's true daughter. I'll end her and take over everything she owns. In just seven days. I'll work at night time, when she will never be able to defend herself and stroke her until she becomes a walking dead. I'll then relax and rejoice on the last day. <laughs> I have been having this headache since. What do I do? I am feeling feverish already. I will go to the hospital tomorrow or next. I don't just understand how I am feeling. Lord Jesus, please take control. I just resumed to the office, I do not want to be sick. Please heal me Father Lord, protect me and guide me. Teach me always and be with me. In Jesus name I pray, Amen. I will show her the stuff I am made of. <laughs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Stand up and pray. You need to stand up and pray. Do not sleep. Stand up to pray beloved. Your enemy is walking around, looking for ways to devour you. Stand up and pray. I am so tired, and I am having a very bad headache. Why do I find it so difficult to sleep? I can't sleep and that's why I am having headache. This is not just headache. I have been trying to communicate with you as your guardian angel. You need to prepare for a spiritual warfare. While you are awake, pray. I am feeling sleepy, but immediately I try to sleep, I'll wake up again. Let me go and watch movie, maybe I'll be able to sleep. <laughs> this movie is so interesting. I'll ask my colleague to recommend more movies for me. I didn't know the movie is so interesting. Thank you, Master. Thank you for fortifying me tonight. I shall come again tomorrow for more. Do not worry, you only have to get prepared for six days. You must go and strike on the seventh day. While men sleep, we kill, steal and destroy destinies. We control the world. Master, I need to go back to my coven. <laughs> I control the world. Since I couldn't sleep, let me just get ready for work. It is morning already. <laughs> Today is the day. Today is your last day on earth. Help me please. Please, help me. Why is that lady in pain? Why was she being attacked? The lady looked so much like me, but it is not me. I feel for her. This headache again. I still find it difficult to sleep. Why will I be waking up at this time of the night? The exact time I woke up yesterday. Wait. 
I had a dream and I saw that a woman was being attacked by an evil spirit. Does this mean that someone around me, or someone that I know well is in danger? Definitely someone around me is in danger. Is that why I couldn't sleep? No! I don't want to believe. Elizabeth. Pray now. You need to destroy the camp of your enemies. They are at work. I can't sleep again. This time around, I'll just do some chores till I'm able to fall asleep. I'll do the laundry, clean the house and do other things. I need to see the doctor tomorrow. Miss, we have carried out several tests on you and we cannot find anything wrong. I just assumed that you might be under stress. I'll prescribe some medications for you which will help you rest well. You can take some days off work so that you can rest well at home. But doctor, does that explain why I keep waking up at 1 a.m. for two days now? There's what is called circadian rhythm. It is also known as the sleep and wake circle. This might have make you to be waking up constantly at that exact time. Do not worry, you only to rest. I'll prescribe some medications that will help you. It's okay, doctor. Thank you so much. You are welcome, miss. This is happening again? But I am feeling sleepy. This medication is so strong, I will just sleep. Who slapped me? Who slapped me? Who is there? This is not ordinary again. I need to call my pastor. I am scared. Elizabeth. After listening to you and praying about your situation, I'll ask oh you this question. Why are you not spiritually active? The Holy Spirit has been trying to tell you something, but you lack the spirit of discernment to figure it out. This is not just a headache, you are about to face a spiritual warfare. Someone somewhere is trying to hard, working day and night to make sure your existence comes to an end. You need to wake up and be spiritually strong and active. When last did you pray? When last did you study the word of God? When last did you fast? Pastor, I won't lie to you. I have been very busy these past months that I always forget. In fact, I don't have the time to start doing all the things I used to do. All because I needed to work so hard for my promotion. Immediately I got promoted, I became lazy to pray, worship God, study the Bible and even attend fellowship. So, do you think you got promoted by your power and hard work? My dear, you got promoted by the grace of God. So many people forget God when God has answered their prayers. They go back to being a lukewarm Christian. And you know what God said about those that are neither cold nor hot. Elizabeth, I want to first assure you that you are not alone in this struggle. Many of us face spiritual battles that manifest in physical and emotional ways. Your persistent headaches and the interruption of your sleep are signals that something deeper is at play. In Ephesians 6.12, the Bible tells us, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. This means that our struggles are not merely physical, but are often rooted in spiritual warfare. Your visit to the hospital is important, and I encourage you to continue seeking medical advice. However, it's also crucial to recognize that spiritual attacks can manifest in physical symptoms. Your dream about being attacked and slapped is a clear indication that there is a spiritual battle raging around you. In Luke 10 19, Jesus says, Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. As believers, we have been given authority over the enemy, but we must also be vigilant and discerning. Put on the full armor of God, 
as described in Ephesians 6 13-18, and stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Remember, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1, 7 Many Christians experience the nudging of the Holy Spirit in the middle of the night, urging them to pray and engage in spiritual warfare. However, it is often easy to dismiss these promptings and instead indulge in distractions like watching movies or using social media. In Matthew 26, 41, Jesus tells his disciples, Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. This verse highlights the struggle between our desire to follow God's will and the distractions of the world. When the Holy Spirit wakes you up at night, it is a call to prayer and spiritual warfare. If a science 6 12 reminds us that our battle is not against flesh and blood but against spiritual forces, Prayer is a powerful weapon in this battle, and when we neglect to pray, we leave ourselves vulnerable to the enemy's attacks. James 4, 7-8 encourages us to submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. This passage reminds us of the importance of actively engaging in spiritual warfare through prayer and seeking God's presence. Will God ever forgive me for neglecting him? Elizabeth, it seems that you may have been feeling spiritually weak and distant from God. It's important to remember that our spiritual strength comes from our relationship with Christ and our daily walk with him. In Ephesians 6.10 Paul encourages us to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. This strength comes from spending time in prayer, reading the word, and seeking God's presence daily. It's possible that the busyness of life or the challenges you're facing have caused you to neglect your spiritual life. I urge you to take time to refocus on your relationship with Christ. Spend time in prayer seeking his guidance and strength. Dive into the word of God, allowing it to renew your mind and spirit. James 4, 8 tells us, Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Take intentional steps to draw closer to God. Join a Bible study group, surround yourself with fellow believers who can encourage and uplift you, and make prayer a priority in your life. Remember, God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 When we are weak, He is strong. Trust in His power and grace to renew your strength and refire your passion for Him. He is always faithful, and He will never leave you nor forsake you. To deal with whosoever is firing evil arrows from the spiritual realm, Please we need to embark on a three days fasting and prayer, and you must also wake up to pray around the same time you've been waking up. I'll give you some prayer points and Bible verses to pray with. I am very sure you will come our victorious. I'll also join you in the fasting. The devil must surely be put to shame. Amen in Jesus name. I'll act accordingly man of God. Today is the day. An end has come to you Elizabeth. You'll surely join your mother in the land of the dead today. Psalms 83, 14-15 says, As the fire burneth the wood, and as the flame setteth the mountains on fire, so persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Psalm 7, 9, O oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just. For the righteous God treeth the hearts and reigns. Psalms 35, 1-2, Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me, fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for mine help. Psalms 37, 14-15, The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow, 
to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bowels shall be broken. Psalm 70, 1-2, Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul, let them be turned backward, and put to confusion, that desire my hurt. Psalms 59, 1-3, Deliver me from mine enemies, O my God, defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity, and save me from bloody men. 4. Lo, they lie in wait for my soul, the mighty are gathered against me. Not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O Lord. Psalms 27, 1-3, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear, though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Psalm 68 1 to 2, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away, as wax melteth before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Psalm 7, 6, arise, O Lord, in your anger, lift up yourself against the rage of my enemies, and awake and stir up for me the justice and vindication that you have commanded. Psalms 91, 3, For then he will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Father, every spiritual test sown in my life by the devil, I uproot them right now. By the power in the name of Jesus, I speedily destroy every works of the enemy in and around my life. Every weapon of the enemy fashioned against me, be destroyed now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let me begin to walk in the reality of my conquer identity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, every trace of the works of the enemy in my life, I wash it off by the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, let the hands of the enemy not be able to perform their wicked enterprise over me in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, cut off the hands of the enemies from all that concerns me. In Jesus' mighty name. Every gang up of the enemy against me, be destroyed right now. Holy Spirit, lift up a standard against the enemy that has come against me. Every spirit of fear in me that has given the enemy the foothold to work in my life, be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Dear Lord, arise and fight on my behalf against the enemies that have risen against me. Lord God, I walk into the all-round peace that Christ has paid for me on the cross. Jesus, manifest yourself in my life and destroy all the works of the enemy. Father, baptize me with grace not to give the enemy a loophole for his manifestation. Father, help me to keep the fire on my altar burning to prevent the enemy from working in my life. Father, I decree that my life is a no-go area for the enemy. Every enemy seeking my downfall, let them be confounded. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything the enemy has done that is a blemish on my Christian life, I destroy it in Jesus' name. I declare that I am far from the oppression of the wicked one. Henceforth, only good things shall happen in my life. Whatsoever the enemy has done that is stopping me from manifesting as a child of God, I destroy it right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Why am I finding it difficult to enter this house? I need to go immediately. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let my foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over me. 
The Lord is my shade at my right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep me from all harm. He will watch over my life. The Lord will watch over my coming and going both now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the answered prayers. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Matt, what is wrong with you? Why are you looking sad? We've been trying to reach you since yesterday when my sister was coughing up blood. We called your number but you didn't pick up. Blood? Why? Where is she now? We lost her. Agnes is dead. Are you serious? Yes. My siblings said I should meet you for the burial arrangement. Burial arrangement? You people want me to handle the burial. You don't want to?